So we're gonna be cooking with Jack Jack today. I haven't did one of those in a minute, but I don't cook as often as I used to, but I'm cooking today. So I woke up mad late today cause I went to sleep at like freaking six o'clock in the morning. I woke up at like 3 p.m., which is horrible. And if you can see my eyes, they're mad bumpy at the top. Cause I recently put lashes on, like the little, like you know when you go get your lashes done? But I took it off and it was hurting so bad. So bad it was hurting. Now my eyes are bumpy. But anyway, I woke up at 3 p.m. and I just started cleaning. Because my couch, my couch needed to be cleaned which I, cl I cleaned my couch. It's still like wet, not OD wet, but like it just needs to dry. It's like damp. And clean my couch. I just did a real good cleaning and now it's like, ooh, it feels so good. I can't wait to cook because I feel like cleaning and a, I mean cooking in a nice clean crib. It's like the best feeling. Um, I was really in the mood for some planting, sweet planting though, so, and then I'm like, what am I going to eat with that? So I was thinking about all I could eat, but then I'm like, oh, I really want some rice. So rice with planting, what else can I do? I was thinking chicken, but I don't, I don't want to deal with the chicken. So I'm like, let me do something quick and easy, shrimp. So we're going to do some, I asked my boyfriend, I, I said, you want bang bang shrimp? Or you want sweet and spicy? He said do both. Like, why you can't just choose? Talk about I can't choose, so do both. We gonna do both. <clears throat> so I gotta go buy this stuff. And maybe I'll make like a nice fruit juice. And yeah, but I gotta take a shower because I just got up, I brushed my teeth, and I started cleaning. I ain't even take a shower, nothing. So I was hot, sweating when I was cleaning that. My armpits is funky, so I need to take a shower. It's 9 o'clock at night, by the way. Because I woke up at 3 p.m. started cleaning. My couch took about two hours to clean. And then I cleaned the breast, so now it's 9. And I'm about to cook. I'm about to be done cooking at like 11. I need to, I'm going to try to wake up early tomorrow because I'm not about to be doing this every day. Going to sleep 6 o'clock in the morning, waking up 3 o'clock, but yeah, nobody want to do that. But anyway, I'm about to go to the supermarket, get a couple things, and then we're going to cook when we get it. So I bought cucumber mayo, rice, rice wine vinegar, sweet chili sauce. I bought some yum yum sauce. Because I heard on TikTok that this is really good. So I want to try it. And I bought freaking frozen shrimp. I usually buy the shrimp like from the counter. Like at the seafood side. But it, it's freaking 10. Oh, it's only 10 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock and it was closed. So I had to go with the freaking frozen shrimp. Frozen jumbo shrimp. They had this big old cocktail type shrimp, like the shrimp cocktail things, and they were mad big and I wanted to get it, but it was six shrimps for $9. Who wants six shrimp for $9? When I could just buy 50 shrimps for 20. Green pepper, I got some oil. Lemon for the juice. Mangoes for the juice. I got beans, I got coconut milk, and strawberries for the juice. So y'all, I put my rice in the pot. You could get this canned rice or the rice in the bag. The rice in the bag is probably better, but you gotta soak those overnight and stuff. And I wasn't trying to do this. So I just got the one in the freaking can with the water. And I put some coconut milk in it. I should have put this, I don't know. I feel like it's all the same thing. I was thinking I should let it boil first and then put this after, but it's literally the same thing. So I put some coconut milk, um, and then I put a little bit of water in it too. I meant beans, y'all. My bad. I said rice, the rice in the can. And I meant I meant beans. Like you could 
the ones the beans in the bag you could soak it overnight and stuff but this one's already in water so it's like you don't even gotta soak it and then i i really recommend this thing to cut up thing cut up vegetables but definitely not this one that i have because it'd be messing up i got it from amazon and it'd be stressing me out look i think it's about to happen yep you see how it popped up it'd be getting me so tight so i one of these is really good but just not this one so I chopped up my onions. This is really this is really convenient though because I hate chopping up stuff. So and this gets it the right shape every time. You see? So chop up my onion, my green onion or scallion, whatever you want to call it. Chop those up and then I got some thyme and I'm gonna put it in there. And then it, the, it was boiling while I was chopping the stuff up, which is good. So I put it in there, shake it up. Then we're gonna add some seasonings. I put pepper garlic powder or you could put actual garlic in there um some salt shake that thing up you dig oh and i put scotch bonnet um sauce i w i didn't get a scotch bonnet pepper so i just put some scotch bonnet sauce and i think it was valid i don't remember and i definitely dragged it with the freaking butter put some butter in there but don't drag it like how i did and then you're going to make sure you clean your rice real good until the water runs clear. And put some rice in there. Well, put your washed rice in the pot. I don't remember. Y'all, look. One thing about me, I don't do measurements. I just be doing it. Or oh, I added some more coconut milk in it, too. And some all-purpose seasoning. But, yeah, I can't really tell you the measurements. It's like, it's a certain, like, I just see it. So I know how much water to put in the rice or how much liquid the rice needs. Y'all don't remember how I made this rice the last time. Last time it came out good, but it's like drying. So I'm gonna cook it like how I cook regular white rice. It should cook the same. It should. I do not know. We gonna see. So basically that's what she look like. When making rice, I think you got, like, if you put two cups of rice, you got to put three three cups of water. But I don't do it like that. Basically, okay, so after it's dried up like this, I put it into a mountain. Like, make the rice into a mountain, like how I'm doing right there. And then I cover it with some foil, aluminum foil. You about to see me do that in a second. Cover it with some aluminum foil. And then I put the cap on and cook it on medium heat for about like 20 minutes. But do not open it at all after that. I don't think that's how I did it the last time. I don't remember, but the last time it came out good. So we are gonna see how it come out. So now we are gonna start with the shrimp. Um, it was a frozen shrimp, but I thought it already. Um, now I'm just deveining it. This is the most annoying part of cooking shrimp, taking the poo out and the veins out but look at all that definitely got to take that out because that is no good but i'm just shrimp i'm making buttermilk where well, i put buttermilk salt garlic paprika pepper lemon pepper and then i just shake that up and then for the flour i put the same thing garlic salt lemon pepper onion powder some pepper and shake it up and this is the freaking planting i was really mad that i went to the supermarket and they didn't have no plants they only had the green ones and i didn't want the green one i wanted sweet planting so i was really mad about that but this one's good if you see the color it was like really freaking good it was like the perfect kind of sweet don't this is how i cut my things but i don't cut it like me because if you see i have my hand at the bottom if my hand slips i'm gonna be all cut up so if you are gonna cut it like this just be careful and take it slow because this is not a smart way to cut anything. Especially with that big old freaking knife. But yeah, I was mad that they didn't have none at the supermarket. But I'm like, thank God I have one in the crib. So I started making the sauce for the shrimp. I put some mayonnaise. Don't put that much though because I really dragged it with the mayonnaise. I put some sweet chili sauce, some sriracha. And that's it. And then I shook it up. Tried it. But it definitely needed some more sweet chili sauce. So I put some more in there. Definitely make sure you always try your food as you cook to make sure it's tasting good. If it need anything, you put a little extra something. Now I uncovered the rice and shook it up. And then I left it on low heat, covered for like five, five more minutes. 
And then this is the other sauce. I put buffalo, brown sugar, honey. Um, what else did I put? A little garlic, rice vinegar. Shook that thing up. Then I put some red pepper flakes. And then I let it simmer. And I put some butter. How much? I don't know. I just, you got to go with your heart. You dig what I'm saying? Just try it, man. And if you like it, if you don't like it, add some more stuff. And then for the shrimp, I put my shrimp in the, what is that? The flour. And then, you know, just fry that thing. Fry it. To make sure the heat is not too high. But fry both sides until it's nice and golden brown or nice and crunchy. However you like it, baby. You don't want eating it. But I made mine going to brown. And some of them burnt, too. So, Oh, and then after I finished my shrimp, I wanted to take some of that stuff out so I could cook the plantain in there. But I was getting tired, so I just left some of it in there. And then while I made the, um, while the plantain was frying, I started making my juice. So I had my boyfriend squeeze up the lemon, and I cut the chip, the strawberries up. Again, do not cut your stuff like how I'm cutting it, because you, if you're not careful, you're going to cut yourself. So be careful. So you put your strawberries in a bag with some sugar. Or you could, you could blend it, too. But I didn't want to use my blender. And then I cut up my mango, and then I put it in there right in the bag. Let me tell you, that mango was so good. I wish I would have ate it instead of making it for the juice. But the juice was really good, too. But I really wanted to eat that whole mango. It was so freaking good. Okay, once you got your fruits in there, let the air out of the bag. Let me tell you, this makes a whole big mess. So I say just use the freaking blender. Then you're going to smash that up real good. Once it's smashed, you're going to strain it like this to get all the juice out. And make sure you don't waste none of that juice in that bag. You better put some water and mm -hmm, use it. Because that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of juice and flavor. Then you're going to use a spoon and shake it up to get all the juice out and stuff. Like to separate the pulp from the juice. Then I'm going to get my cute thing that I got from TJ Maxx. It has this thing in the middle. And I'll just be putting my um, the pulp in there to get the little extra flavors. Oh, yeah, the freaking lemon juice. I almost forgot about the lemon juice. So there go the lemon juice, the strawberry juice, and the mango juice. And then I'm going to just put the um, fruit in the middle. After you put the fruit in the middle, or however you want to do it, I've just got some sugar some water put in the microwave real quick and then i put that into the juice you don't have to do this but this is how i like doing it and then just put your sugar in some water and then and then that's really it my camera ended up freaking dying and i couldn't continue the video but i took a video of the finished product on my phone so yeah why am i taking so long with this Okay, I'm fixing it. Oh, matter of fact, and you know what else? I put some condensed milk in it. I put a little bit of condensed milk in it, and it was so good. So, ask me why I did that. I don't know. It just came to my mind. Like, let me put some condensed milk in here. And it was mad freaking good. But here's the finished product. That rice was fire. Let me tell you that. I didn't really like the bang bang shrimp. It was good, but I like the other shrimp better. The, the sweet and spicy one. And I almost forgot about my planter. You see, they kind of burnt. Then you put your little cute little strawberries, your lemon, your juice, and it just looks so good. It, this was really good, y'all. If y'all gonna make this, let me know how you like it.